This is KMTV 3 News Now, live at 10. Tonight on 3 News Now, it's a much debated way to keep traffic flowing through construction zones. It's called the zipper merge. The Nebraska Department of Roads wants to make it common practice this spring. They want you to forget about moving over right away when you see the lanes narrowing for orange signs and barrels. Instead, merge at the last minute in alternate fashion. Many drivers say it's rude and will not work. Arguments from both sides coming up. But first, let's get right to the story that everybody is talking about tonight. Winter is back. It's cold, it's breezy, and it's only going to get worse. We have team coverage tonight. The city of Omaha putting a salt solution on the streets in anticipation of the snow this weekend. Reporter Maya Signs has reaction. But first, weather alert meteorologist John Walsh is tracking the system. How much snow we will see and when, John. Yeah, yeah. indeed, and uh, that system is still well out in the Pacific Northwest right now. But as we take a look at Threat Tracker, we're talking about late Friday night into early Saturday, followed by a second wave that's going to roll in here Sunday night, possibly into early Monday. So Threat Tracker has been elevated to the yellow category. The cold air is already settling in. Man, it is uh, breezy out there and uh, it's, the temperatures are falling quite rapidly. In fact, the cold will continue to settle south all the way down the southeastern portion of the country. We're going to be seeing a couple waves of energy. The first one comes along on Friday. That's followed by the second one on Sunday. Snow is expected to begin late on Friday night. Here's where the storm is located right now and uh, that's going to push through the Intermountain regions and then make a turn toward the southeast and dive right into the Missouri River Valley uh, by late Sunday night and into early Monday. So with that, we are going to be uh, seeing the snow fly before the weekend is out. Cumulating snow is expected. I'll give you uh, what amounts we're looking at during the weather segment. In the meantime, we've got clear skies that will be clouding up though tomorrow and expect a chilly day. Details on the snowfall, uh, further details on where it's going to start and who's going to see the heaviest upcoming during the weather segment in just a few minutes. Just before 3 o'clock this afternoon, the mayor's office tweeted that city trucks have already started pre-treating streets. That's roughly 36 hours before the snow is expected to fall. 3 News Now reported Maya Science is live with the push to keep the streets clear for weekend activities. Maya. Yep, Jen, Craig, we have already seen several city trucks leaving here to go start pre-treating those streets for this weekend storm. And although the city is preparing to go clear up those, those streets, we already have people who are saying they're already ready for warmer days. Omaha is experiencing a mild winter and undergoing drastic changes this week, from sunshine to high winds. Yeah, Omaha weather's been all over the place. It's crazy, it's cold, and it's warm, and it's cold the next day. Like, it's, it shouldn't be like that. Even hail. We had, where I live, out by Bennington, we had enough pea-sized hail to cover the ground for a short while. To now snow, expected late Friday night into Saturday morning. Mayor Gene Stothard tweeted, we're getting ready for March snow. With forecasts up to six inches of snow possible Saturday, we have started pre-treating the streets. But many in the area say due to the unusually warm weather, this weekend snow has caught them off guard. So, we're supposed to be getting like three to six inches this weekend? Oh, for real? Yeah. I thought we were done with snow, man. Remember, three winters ago, it was snowing like every other night. And this winter, there hasn't been a ton of snow. So it's just kind of like, it's really random, you know. Although the city is already prepping the roads with brine, people are already preparing for the next set of warmer days. And then we'll, we'll wait about six, seven days, and it'll be back to 60s and 70s again. It's the Midwest, and that's <laughs> the way it is in the Midwest. Who wants San Diego 70 degrees every day anyway? Again, trucks have already been making their way out tonight to start getting those roads ready for this weekend. Reporting live, Maya Signs, 3 News Now. The man accused of sexually assaulting two children inside a West Roads Mall bathroom will make his first court appearance tomorrow. Investigators booked 50-year-old Bruce Perry for the incident we first told you about last night at 10. Police say Perry inappropriately touched a 7-year-old boy in the bathroom outside Dick's Sporting Goods store near the play area. An 11-year-old boy is also listed as a victim. Parents we spoke with are horrified. Oh, yeah. yeah, and we come here all the time with our children, and we've never felt um, threatened. But at the same time, we 
we don't let our kids out of our sights. We found the suspect in this case does have a criminal history. In 1993, Perry served jail time for misdemeanor indecent exposure and in 1984 for lewd conduct. He's due in court tomorrow. New at 10 on 3 News Now, a house fire north of the Mormon Bridge in Ponca Hills tonight. It took a long time for firefighters to get under control. A bunch of different departments sent manpower to Canyon Road. The home is in a very rural area surrounded by trees. Firefighters eventually gained the upper hand just before 8 o'clock. Because of those trees and the fact it's a log home, it was a difficult task. We're having to cut through ceilings with chainsaws, cut through the roof with metal cutting saws because the fire is all in the concealed spaces in the roof space. According to the homeowners, they lit the grill and went inside. When they came out, flames were climbing the outside walls. Tonight, there is a lot of damage. Also new since 6, Omaha firefighters went into search and rescue mode at a house fire on W Street off 42nd in South Omaha. Flames broke out around 5 o'clock. Initial reports indicated children might be in the house. Fortunately, all of the kids were out of the home. The fire damaged the back of the house. Tonight, it's unlivable. The Red Cross is helping the victims. This next story has led to some discussion and friendly debate in the newsroom. We're talking about the zipper merge. The Nebraska Department of Roads is asking drivers to start doing it. They say it's a way of merging in construction areas and it will reduce congestion. Several other states are already using this driving technique. But will Nebraskans be able to make the change? Reporter Miranda Christian has been looking into what it is, if it'll work, and what you're saying about it. The reason why it need to be done here is because of the traffic volume. Rose White with Nebraska's AAA says drivers need to learn the zipper merge. It's different than what we've always been taught. You will want to occupy both lanes, stay in your lane until you actually reach that merge point. When you see a construction zone telling you to merge, most people will merge right away. But the zipper merge looks like this. Cars will stay until the last minute and merge, taking turns, and it looks like a zipper. You know, the reasons behind it are very positive. It's for your safety. It's to keep traffic moving to prevent delays. And or has already implemented the zipper merge into Highway 75 construction last November. Is it working? Are people following it? No, not that I've seen. Most people just get right over. Uh, they don't wait till the last minute, even though it says to. And or says they think the zipper is working and it helps with traffic flow through the area. But some drivers are not fans of the new merge. I think it's quite silly, actually. I don't like the idea of having to wait till the last second to merge over, especially with traffic as backed up and crazy as it gets. No, most of the time it's not happening anyways. Uh, I know it's a single solid white line, but it seems like everybody merges over to the left side. The plan is to have more zipper merges in construction zones, and that should help drivers get used to the new style. And so it's always important that when you get to that merge point, take your turn, make sure you leave a proper amount of space so that other person can safely merge in front of you. A lot of thoughts on this. The zipper merge issue has people speaking up on social media. Here are just a few of the comments we've gotten from our viewers. Donna wrote, it works if people will let you merge. Karen says this should be taught to everyone. Dan disagrees, though. He says that's just a bad accident waiting to happen. And Kelly says dislike. I almost got run over by a semi trying to zipper merge. It will take some getting used to, that's for sure. Omaha's two major candidates in the race for mayor took to the stage today at the CenturyLink Center explaining how they will attract and keep young adults in our city. At the Young Professionals Summit, Mayor Gene Stothert and Democratic challenger Heath Mello spoke about their vision. Both talked about city growth, adding public transportation and affordable housing. Their young crowd told 3 News Now what they would like to see. I think a lack of public transportation or, you know, um, consistent public transportation is a reason why a lot of people leave the city. To me, it's like the BRT, unless I'm misinformed, is that's going to be a direct line from downtown to West Roads. How does that help people that don't have vehicles that are that have a low social economic status? How do they get to and from work? What developments are we doing to improve poverty? 
A controversial pipeline plan for Nebraska now faces a potential roadblock just to the north. Native American tribes, landowners, and environmental groups are suing to block part of the Keystone XL pipeline in South Dakota. In court documents, they raise concerns about water contamination and pollution. In 2016, the South Dakota Utilities Commission voted to give TransCanada permission to build the pipeline if the federal government approved the project. Hey, this is great. A new five acre attraction is coming to the Henry Dorley Zoo. And today we got a sneak peek. This is a really important project for us uh, because it really focuses on kids and learning and what better way to do that than through play and fun. The Children's Adventure Trails, a new area at the zoo designed to let kids run free, will open sooner than originally planned. A mild winter has accelerated the construction. The amphitheater will have 14 bird species. It will open May 26th. The Adventure Trails and Conservation Academy will both open June 30th, more than a month ahead of schedule. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, we are looking forward to uh -huh. Memorial Day weekend and beyond. The federal government is now investigating AT&T. How a disconnect might have left hundreds of thousands of people vulner vulnerable in case of an emergency. Connecting. To take on the challenges you face every day, you need to be connected. KMTV 3 News Now. Your connection to everything Omaha. Your neighborhood, your community, each other. Whenever you need to know, stay connected with KMTV 3 News Now. Since day one, your safety has been my top priority, and you expect results. Chief Schmader and I have worked together to put more officers on the street than ever before, and shootings that threaten our community have fallen to the lowest level in a decade. We are seeing results, and we're not done yet. I am committed to protecting your safety. I'm Jean Stothard. I'm proud of our progress and excited about our future. Tanner's Bar & Grill has its roots deeply planted in the Midwest. In the 80s, Grandpa Tanner just wanted a place where folks could get some great food, have a cold drink, and just feel like they belonged. Today, that welcoming local spot is alive and well at Tanner's. With our award-winning chicken lips, burgers, wings, nachos, and more, plus ice-cold beer, you can't go wrong. So catch the game, grab a crew, and enjoy a brew. We're all friends here. Tanner's Bar & Grill, five locations in Omaha and two in Lincoln. It's spring, time to get back on the water and into the fish. It's time to find what's on the menu and at the top of the food chain. So this year, leave no stone unturned, no stump unflipped, and no weed bed unfished so you can make your live well the busiest place on the lake. Cabela's Spring Great Outdoor Days. Family events, amazing deals. Your one stop before the water. Save $500 on a Lowrance HDS 9 Gen 2 Touch Combo. Shop in-store and online at cabelas.com. The 3 News Now Mobile Storm Tracker, sponsored by Jensen Tire and Auto. To conservatives who've been fighting for health care reform, this is so exciting. First of all, I would like to walk you through. House Speaker Paul Ryan tonight, after more than 27 hours of debate, the Energy and Commerce Committee approved the Republican plan to replace the Affordable Care Act. Another House committee approved the legislation earlier today, but it still faces fierce opposition. Democrats and some conservative Republicans in both the House and the Senate say the legislation will go nowhere without revisions. This is a historic act. To a different story now, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is promising to help technology companies defend against CIA hacking. He published top secret CIA documents and computer code that describe how the agency can break into phones, read encrypted messages, and use smart TVs for eavesdropping. Senator John McCain calls the release an act of treason. Nebraska Senator Ben Sass weighed in tonight saying Assange should spend the rest of his life wearing an orange jumpsuit. Honored to have you with us today. President Trump had jobs on his agenda when he met with leaders of small and community banks Thursday at the White House. The president said community banks are job creators because they provide half of all loans to small businesses. Also tonight, the Federal Communications Commission is investigating a big mishap at AT&T. 
cell phone customers in big states, including Texas and Florida, had their calls to 911 go unanswered last night. Police and government agencies provided alternate numbers for emergencies. A spokesman for AT&T would not comment on how many customers were affected or what caused the outage. Well, millions of people around the country will go to work on Monday with snow on the ground, including here in the metro. I'll give the details on what we know about this storm right after the break. It's Yonkers Black Friday Deals Weekend this Friday through Sunday. Deals just as good as Black Friday all weekend long. Shop over 225 doorbusters Friday through Sunday. Shop in-store and online. Yonkers, your store, your style. It's Omaha's first ever global championship in professional sports. The FEI World Cup Finals Omaha 2017. March 29th through April 2nd at CenturyLink Center Omaha. Five days of the world's best equestrian athletes competing for global championship titles in jumping and dressage. Be part of Omaha's first global championship. The FEI World Cup Finals Omaha 2017. March 29th through April 2nd. For tickets, go to omahaworldcup2017.com. Country House is an assisted living resident specializing in memory care. What I love about our community is that we are out participating in events on a daily basis, finding those moments of joy, whether it's community activities, village in for pie and coffee. Our residents are busy every day. It's living in their moment. It's making sure that every moment that we have with them is spectacular. And if we're so blessed to wake up with them the next day, we just get to do it again. Some people say we should be making a bigger deal about the huge sale at Nebraska Furniture Mart. How huge selection means low prices, and all in one place means convenience. I get it, but this is about savings on thousands of items in every department. Furniture, flooring, appliances, and electronics, plus 24 month financing. Save on thousands of items in every department, financing, no bands. The huge sale at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Kids get a picture with Cat in the Hat Saturday. It's Yonkers Black Friday Deals Weekend this Friday through Sunday. Deals just as good as Black Friday all weekend long. Shop over 225 doorbusters Friday through Sunday. Shop in-store and online. Yonkers, your store, your style. Have you seen this? The wind had its way yesterday, leaving its mark everywhere, toppling trees, semi-trucks, and rerouting planes. But there was one unintentional flight in Lyndhurst, Ohio. Four-year-old Madison Gardner and her mother just got home. As mom was unloading the car, Madison grabbed the door handle, leading to this. Come fly with me. I look back, I see her flying. Look at that. The little girl went airborne. She held on tight, though. Her mom had to pry the scared child's hand off that door handle. All is well, though, moms and dads out there. The two had a good laugh after watching that video together. Wow. All right. And somebody weaved in some Sinatra in there with Come Fly With I Me. I know. <laughs> we know that's not a summer wind, right? No, no. <laughs> The only winds we're talking about here, here Jenny, I guess, are uh, wind chills at this point. Yeah, it's it's getting chillier out there. Oh, it's getting it really windy is. out there, and we're waiting on the snow. Got to reacclimate again, you know. know. It's uh, we'll 